Hi everyone, welcome to a new series in Mom's Life in Mongolia. This time I'm so excited to be finally doing it in Mongolia because the previous two vlogs were done in Phuket, um, Thailand when we were on a family vacation. So this vlog is going to be at 24 hours with my baby, with my toddler who is turning six months, who actually turned six months old um, just a couple days ago. So yeah, we're starting solids and it's going to be a fun day. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a mompreneur living in Mongolia. All right, so let's get started. Leia, baby. Mm, Want to say hi to the camera? Hi. Good morning, everyone. And then we're gonna go out for a fresh walk. It's so nice out. I'm gonna do a quick skincare before I go out. The air is so dry out there, so I don't wanna go out barefaced. Prep my face with some essence and then some serum and then some SPF cream. Outfit for the day. Oh, looking good, my baby. Finally, we're going out. Ah, uh, it's so nice out. The sun is just shining right around that corner, and now we're gonna take a walk over here it's really nice because it's close to the waters behind and it just has a different hit of fresh air am i right leah when i'm usually out with my baby and if she's sleeping on her crib i like to get a um, couple of pages of my favorite book going right now i am reading this book called 12 simple secrets real moms know this is actually a book that my mom read when my sister was younger so i was so excited to finally read it as a mom myself the book's title says like 12 simple sec secrets real moms know and it kind of sounds like i'm supposed to keep up with something right there's this secret out there but to be honest it's really not that it actually talks about getting back to the very basics and how motherhood has become this full-time job a 24 7 full-time job that has no reward and that it's um, become this hyperactive competition where the mom is like a hamster on a hamster wheel and she has no opportunity to get off it talks about getting back to the basics and how mothering motherhood is actually so simple and it doesn't have to be that hard so it was just really you know refreshing and calming and um, relieving in a lot of sense to read how um, it's not that hard it's very basic it's very natural and um, that everyone basically has the instinct and the capability for it we don't have to acquire this new skill we don't have to acquire the next best product um, to be a good mother and to grow a healthy strong and happy kid instead we should just focus really more on the emotional bond and connection and pay more effort into growing your baby in a healthy oh she's awake in a very um, calm environment where she feels protected, right? 
where she feels loved. That's most important. Right, Leia? Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sam Snow, no. Sam Snow. Is that a hoyla? No. Is that a hoyla? So she just started her solids last week and uh, we started off with some rice rice milk, is that correct? Okay. But then she was said starting from this week she's having a carrot puree. Carrot puree. And uh, we're using this really cute uh, weaning and recipe guide. It's been very helpful. Not ready, not ready, not ready yet. It's not, it's a little, it's a little hot now. Each new word to eat, you Time right now is 2.40 and um, we have our teammates here, Cindy and Ayuka. Uh, we're currently working on a lot of our projects. They actually came around 11 o'clock and we've been working for almost three hours now. Okay, so usually our team comes to my place, to our little home office here and we get a lot of stuff done. Um, working for a quality couple of hours. Um, this time we're working on an event called Dream Workshop. It's an annual event um, that I'm trying to do for the first time here. <laughs> okay, so I've done this event in 2019 called <laughs> called Power Within You, which means Mongolian. And I'm trying to do that event now again, but with more depth, more hands-on approach, and just way more quality time with the audience. So this time we're trying to do an event that's um, more like a in-depth workshop of planning, curating um, your dreams and goals into an actionable, organized plan. I don't try to work nine to five or nine to six every single day. I try to work a couple of hours with really high quality every single day. So I, I think I prioritize um, turtle speed in the right direction more than directionless speed. I don't like to tie my worth and who I am and my self-esteem with the amount of productivity, if that makes sense. Leia! Leia helping with mommy's work right now. Mommy's meeting is almost over. <laughs> Leia just joined our team meeting towards the end. She got her own to-do list and everything, right? <laughs> Leia always um, comes in when we're working for a couple of minutes and she just makes us all laugh. Kawaii. Kawaii. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely kawaii. 
Um, she loves joining our meetings and she loves to just laugh and smile <laughs> at Tinde <laughs> Noyoka. I think I think soon soon she'll be in our team actually doing some yeah, work, right? right? Yeah, Leah's so excited. Leia loves to be with, with mommy when she's working, right? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So right now it is uh, 6 p.m. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> it's 6 p.m. I think she's laughing at the fact that I'm speaking English because I speak Mongolian at home. Anyways, and I always speak Mongolian to her, right? So it's uh, 6 p.m. now and Leia sleepy time starts at 7.30, right? Actually, it starts at 7. So she would start to... <laughs> <laughs> Leia, mommy's trying to record here. Okay, so she'll start taking shower at 7 p.m. and then she'll be in bed by 7.30. Yeah, and she usually sleeps 12 hours a night and she'll wake up at 7.30 in the morning, right? <laughs> Yeah, so it's been an awesome day, to be honest. Most days are very relaxed, very chill. I try not to pack up my schedule. And as I mentioned, I try not to take this whole motherhood journey as a um, big job. You know what I mean? I try to enjoy and embrace the very little moments. <laughs> Leia, she's really finding it funny. Anyways, um, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, and I'm so grateful for the fact that I can work from home. Thanks to COVID, working from home and working remotely is the new normal now. I don't go to an office. I don't have a 9 to 5, 9 to 6 job. If I have my computer and if I have my good Wi-Fi, I can literally work from anywhere. And that's, that's my biggest blessing in, in terms of career, I think. I'm not tied down to anything and um, my creativity and the possibilities um, are not limited in any sort of way. I'm so grateful for an awesome team that I have. And I am eternally grateful for the fact that I can be next to her when I'm still working, right? I'm not forcing myself or I'm not forcing my husband or I'm not forcing my daughter even to keep up with everything. I think it's I think it's horrible that we put ourselves in this really time pressured busy life. I don't think life should be busy. I think life should be slow, basic and meaningful. Right? I'm so grateful that I'm able to experience her growth. Because believe it or not, right, when before becoming a mother, I used to think that babies are babies, right? The growth is usually like, the growth isn't that extreme or instantaneous. That's the word, instantaneous. But every day, every single day, Leia grows. And it's so evident in front of the eyes. Like she would make new faces, like she would learn new movements. Um, 
you see, like today she's laughing at the fact that I'm speaking English to the camera. That was, that was the first time she did that. And I'm just so grateful for the fact that I can experience even the smallest growth of my baby. All right, time to say bye bye, Leia. Thanks for spending the day with us together. <laughs> we will see you on our next vlog. Bye-bye! <laughs> 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 <laughs>